Today we are going through some of my products with smells. So this is like a smell of vision video, even though you can't smell it. And I'm including the stinky ones and the ones that smell also oh sweet. So if you want to find out what kind of products those are, just keep watching. Alright, it's like coconuts. Coconut milk. Wish I was at the beach. <laughs> Hey everybody, how are my glow tarts doing today? I hope everybody's well. And for those of you who are new, my name is Mandy and welcome to my channel. Alright guys, so you've seen the title. I've got all my smelling products, the ones that stink, the ones that smell good. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, guys, I literally have so many products here, and I don't want to keep you all here for years, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. First product that I have, and this is no surprise to anybody, it is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Oh, my goodness, guys. I just love this. This is one of my favorite bronzers, but the smell, and I'm going to do my best to describe all of these smells to y'all. So this one I would compare to... Laying on an island somewhere with a, a Long Island iced tea. It is just, just the perfect coconut smell, and I just absolutely love it. So the next thing is the Pixie by Petra. Now, this is their Beauty Blush Duo in Peach Honey. Now, this is not as pigmented as what you would think it is. I mean, it can build up, so I will give it credit for that. And I think it is a beautiful look or a beautiful highlighter or blush. More or less, the highlighter is really beautiful. for If you like that natural kind of look, the kind of no makeup makeup days. But the smell of this, oh my gosh, you could just smell the chemicals in it. I don't know what it is about it. And, and the products that I have that don't smell good, that really stink, I, I'm not sure if it's just the product that I have or if it's in everything. So y'all let me know in the comments if y'all do have the same items as me, if they stink also for the ones that do stink. Now the next one is Too Faced. Now this is the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and everybody knows if you don't have this, oh my God, it is just the perfect chocolatey smell. It just smells like a box of chocolates. I absolutely love this. Now, I'm not sure why they they make products smell like chocolate. I think because there's an aphrodisiac in chocolate. So, I'm pretty sure that has something to do with it. But the smell is incredible. All right, guys. Now, the next thing is a liquid lip. Now, this is the Milani the Amore Lip Matte Lip Cream. Now, mine is in shade Precious. Besides being the perfect nude, this has got that perfect, it's like a vanilla scent, but it's also like vanilla and chocolate mix, like a big chocolate vanilla swirl ice cream. It just smells so good. Next one is another liquid lip. This is ColourPop in the Hello Kitty Ultra Satin Lip. This one, guys, I hate to say it, but this one stinks. I mean, it's just chemically, and it, it kind of smells like burnt hair to me. So I'm not sure what that's about. And the next thing is another Too Faced product. This is the Melted Matte Liquid Lip. Guys, this is another product, and it just stinks. You could smell the chemicals in it. Now, it doesn't smell like burnt hair like the last Liquid Lip, but it just kind of gives off like a paint smell. This next thing is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. Now, when I first got this, I didn't think it had a scent to it, but it it's, it's it smells so bad, guys, and I don't know how to explain this one. <laughs> it's not good. Um, I, I can't say it's like paint. I mean, it is like that chemical smell, but it's just got a really weird smell to it. Now, the next thing is a mascara. Now, this is the Physician's Formula, and I believe it's part of the Sex Booster 
Sexy Booster line, and it's Va Va Boom Volume. Not sure what that says. I need my glasses. I'm that old, guys. But, oh my gosh, this is another smell. It's like a vanilla scent, but it's also like a vanilla perfume. I'm not exactly sure how to explain it. Now, I think it's supposed to have the chocolate smell also, but it doesn't smell like chocolates to me. It smells more like vanilla to me. But it's also like a vanilla perfume. Now, the next thing that I have is kind of a weird product. This is the Rue Beauteous from Rue 21. This is the Matte Lips Gel Mattifier. Now, this will mattify any color on your lips. I love it. It's a clear gel. And it has just got the best smell. It's like coconuts. Now, the next one is going to be such a surprise because... I didn't even know this stuff smelled. This is the LA Colors, and I know it's rubbed off, but this is one of their mascaras, a volumi volumizing mascara. Now, I'm not sure. I might have got this in one of the makeup kit boxes, or it might have come in a holiday set. But, guys, I'm telling you, I wish I knew the exact one it was. This has just got the most perfect pineapple smell this is the best smell of mascara I've ever smelled in my life. And it's a really good mascara too. All right, guys. Now the next product, every, most likely everybody has already had this at one point in time because this is just one of those products that spread like a virus all over YouTube. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. Now this is my favorite concealer. But the smell of it, and like I said, these products that smell bad, I don't know if they're just mine or if it's everybody's. <laughs> I think they meant for it to smell really good, but it just comes off really bad. You can smell the chemicals, and it smells like a paint. And it, it, it's just, I hate the smell, but trust me, the smell does go away after you apply it. I mean, you smell it time you open it up and then the smell's gone, but it does have a really bad smell. But it is one of those smells where I think that they meant for it to smell really good and it just did not turn out that way. Now, the next one is one of my favorite smelling products. This is the Tarte Face Shaping Palette. My God, guys. Okay. The Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. The Too Faced Bronzer also. This is a smell almost just like that, but it is so much better. It's a chocolate and vanilla, kind of like a swirl, but I don't know what it is. It's like there's something a little extra in it, but it is just the most beautiful smell. This is my favorite smelling product that I have. That's how good it smells. Now, the next thing that I have, this is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Now, these, I've got two of these, and they smell exactly the same. I love this smell. Again, it's, it's like a really sweet smell, but this is more like a candy smell, not really like chocolate or vanilla, and I cannot put my finger on it, but it is just the best smell. I absolutely love it. It's just a really sweet, citrusy smell. And going on with the liquid lips, this is the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color, and this also has got one of those sweet smells. I mean, it's not strong at all. It's just a hint of something sweet, and I'm not exactly sure. It might be vanilla. Just plain old flat-out vanilla, but I absolutely love it. And for the next thing, this is the Broadway Colors Buttery Matte. Now, these are the liquid lip creams. Now, this this thing was only, I think, 2 or $3, but it has got the, this has got a really, really sweet smell. And it's not too overpowering to where it's going to really bother you, unless you're sense sensitive. But it's like like sweet tarts is what I'm getting. I don't know why I'm getting sweet tart smells, but or bubble gum. Better yet, that is the smell. I have put my finger on it. It is like the bubble gum, like the regular flavored bubble gum, like the one that I chewed in high school all the time. And I think everybody chewed a bubble. What was that? Hubba Bubba, I think. But that is the smell, and I absolutely love it. And it just brings me back to my childhood. Now, the next thing is the NYX HD Concealer. 
this stuff is like straight up stinky the worst paint that you have ever smelled. Now, I do love this concealer, and I think that it really works good if you can see that I'm out. But the smell is the worst smell I've ever smelled in a concealer. And as for the next thing, this is a lip gloss. This is the this is the Hard Candy Glossaholic Lip Gloss. This is such a beautiful gloss, and I do not wear it enough. I absolutely love the Dofa applicator on there. It's nice and big, and it just, for some reason, it just hugs your lips when you put it on. But the smell is just, it's vanilla. That's all I can say about this one is it is a vanilla scent, and I absolutely love it because it tastes like vanilla, too, when it's on your lips. I need to start using this more. I'm glad I pulled that out. And for the next thing, this is the Aurora and Ipsy. This is where they collab together to make this concealer. Guys, I hate this concealer. I hate the way it works. I hate the way it smells. And I just hate, I hate it. I'm sorry. I d well, you know what? Let me back that up. Because I don't hate anything, but I do not like this product. But it has got the worst smell I think that, again, this is one of those products where they tried to make it smell good. They just went totally in the wrong direction. <laughs> All right, guys, I've got so many more products, and I don't want to keep y'all here that long, so I am going to cut it kind of short. Maybe, just maybe, we might have a part two. I'm not exactly sure, but I will show you one more product. Now, this is the LA Colors Defining Drama to Lash, whatever. I never understood this product. This has got the worst chemical smell I've ever smelled in a mascara. This is literally like, it smells just like paint thinner. If you've ever smelled paint thinner, it smells twice as worse as paint. This is that smell. And not to mention the product is just complete trash. I, I don't understand. If you could see the brush, I'm not sure if you could see that, but it does have like a little wing at the end. I don't understand the concept. I don't understand where they was going with it. So besides it being a really bad product, it really stinks. Guys, that is it for this video. So if you enjoyed seeing these stinky products as well as the ones that do smell good, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and become part of my Glow Tart family. We would love to have you. And I love you guys and I'll see you next video. Bye. I've got so much stuff here. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to... <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to be able to show it all. I have here for years. I really like this one too. Just wish it smelled better.